to another day of vlogmas. We're upstairs in my cabin and I am wrapping some presents. These are presents for friends, so I need to get them uh, in the mail as soon as possible. I think I'm gonna take them to, not to like a UPS store, but to an actual like UPS facility, because one of them's going internationally and I already wrapped those and then I'm gonna wrap the other ones, but I, I wrapped all of these last night and then I was like, this is so much fun. I should just make a video out of this. Part of me really just wants to show off the packing job that I did, so <laughs> this is a box of like syrups. I don't even know where I got this box. It must have been from like a grocery delivery because I didn't order 12 bottles of, of vanilla syrup. I have packed like the most, I've done the best packing job probably of my entire life. I don't even know how this happened. Everything that I ended up getting them just worked perfectly in this box. I have to remember how I did this because I risk Okay, so I won't unpack it all the way, but you can see that there's some presents in there. But then, look at this one. I'll take the bubble wrap off for just a second. The bow's kind of smushed, but it's, it makes me happy. I bought a bunch of expensive wrapping paper and it makes me really happy, okay? Don't judge me. So I put this in here. This is from like this, I think. And then this is a jar of peanut butter. My friends live in uh, England, and so I don't think they have this here. And it's white chocolate peanut butter, which I think, and it's vegan. So that's a win. And then this one goes on top. Oh my gosh, like it's just, it's a packing miracle. So that is that. And then here are the gifts I need to wrap today. Right now I speak to Andy and Andy only. I know you're watching these vlogs. I've seen your comments. You're a great friend, but click off this video. Okay, click up, click off of it. I need you to click off the video or you're gonna see what I got you for Hanukkah and I need you to not, okay? You have been warned, Andy. Turn the video off, turn it off. Um, okay, I am going to wrap these gifts and I got some really cute Hanukkah wrapping paper. Ah! <laughs> This thing seemed cool and then it kind of broke. So it's not that cool. This is dog nutcracker paper. I'm a huge fan of that. This is just regular nutcracker paper from last year. Oh, these are reversible. This is like, you can't, it's got like plaid on this side and nutcracker on this side. And then this one's also reversible. It's got like trees and stripes. And then on the other side, it's like green snowflakes, which I really like. I got these from my other friend's daughter's like one of those school catalogs <laughs> that they're like, buy something from. But this is my Hanukkah Bears wrapping paper. I'm super excited to, oh, that's a, that's a flame. I think I got this from Paper Source online. I also used some of this when I was wrapping the other presents. I got this from Anthropology. It's like a book that has a bunch of different cute wrapping papers on it. I used these like skiing, skiing penguins but then there's also like candy cane koalas. I'm really obsessed with this moose. Moose in a holiday sweater was a big deal to me. I've got a whole basket of ribbon and bows. I really like this like frayed velvet ribbon. I, I mean, I just, I spent a lot of money on, on wrapping, but it's, it gives me joy. It really does give me joy. I feel as though, especially just with the craziness of 2020, I started um, holiday shopping really, really early and it just was like, who, who do I wanna, you know, give gifts to? I'm giving, this gift is for a, a baby and they are just these little cute like rocks that are kind of like gemstones and you stack them. It's just a simple toy I found it on Amazon. And I think, you know, less is more with kids. It's just about imagination and just really basic toys. I also got this toy. I'm, <laughs> I'm basic, I want this. It is a little, who's it by? It's by a company called Moon Picnic. 
and it's a little weather station. You just say what your weather is that day at your house. Is it cloudy, is it rainy, is it cold, is the sun out? I thought that that was super cute. That's for someone who's like three and a half, four. And then I have a book. I loved this book this year. It's called The Bear. I don't know the, I don't know how to pronounce it. Andrew, K-R-I-V-A-K. Such a good book. So. Those are my presents. I'm gonna get to wrapping. I'm gonna use the Hanukkah Bear paper. So let's speed this up. Okay, I don't know if this is focusing, but uh, here we go. They're wrapped, and now I just have to go mail this and the other one. Okay, I just got to the UPS store, and I'm gonna go in, and I've got my uh, my mask, <laughs> and I'm gonna go in and uh, mail my packages. Hello, it's me from the future. It's the next day, and I was thoroughly thwarted at, at UPS. First of all, there was a guy that came in not wearing a mask and they were like, you can't be in here without a mask. And he proceeded to come in anyway, set his packages down on the counter and was like, I've got a mask, it's just in my pocket. Allow me a second to uh, pull it out. And it was like, one, you could have done that outside. <laughs> you can still turn around and go do that outside. And two, we don't need your narration, you're spitting. I don't get it. I just, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I'm hoping to see my mother for Christmas, which means I am basically going to go into a strict quarantine, except for tomorrow, because tomorrow I am gathering with my family to say goodbye to my grandfather. Um, so that should be an interesting COVID experience. I'm starting to decorate. It's not going well. Anyway, the problem is, is my friends who live in England, I didn't know their phone number. That's just not how we communicate. Anyway, I need their phone number in order to mail it. So they were already asleep. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to come back. And they were closing anyway. But beyond that, they did not, the person who was helping me, who I'm pretty sure was a, uh, like a, a supervisor, did not seem to know how to mail a package to England. Like she was asking me 
how to put in the address and I was like I know their addresses are different but like isn't this your job it's I don't I don't know so it didn't it didn't really inspire confidence in my package actually arriving so I think I might try to find somewhere else to mail it but anyway I need to get a video up so I hope you enjoyed this episode of of vlogmas and I will see you guys possibly tomorrow <laughs> I don't yeah what am I doing <laughs>